Welcome to my tiny house listing video. This is a walk around through the outside of the tiny house. It's built on a gooseneck trailer, as you can see here. Um, it's a 24 foot, um, the length um, from the bottom across is 24 foot. Uh, here are the propane tanks that are used to heat the hot water tank, instant hot water propane heater. Um, the roof line itself is 34 feet long. We've got a two foot overhang at the back here. And then there's eight feet over the gooseneck area, which is the main bedroom. There is the exhaust fan. Um, for over the oven. We have the window over the kitchen sink. Um, we do have outside electrical outlets. These are the windows that are above the, um, or in the living room area. Uh, just to show you, let's see here, I have insulation board up, but we do have, it's a three axle. Um, trailer that it is built on and then our water hookup have cable and then the electrical um, down here is the sewage um, there is a tank on there small holding tank back here um, is where the uh, the loft comes out over this is the bathroom window um, the exhaust fan for the bathroom and then the uh, mini split. Um, the mini split can be used to heat and cool the tiny house. More electrical outlets and then of course we have the windows for the loft areas there. Um, French doors that lead in and then of course these steps and the deck do come with the tiny house. We are going to go inside now, where we'll be greeted by my two dogs. Um, there they are. We have Mars and Reese. <coughs> okay, as we come inside, we enter into the kitchen area. Um, I have a microwave on the counter here with a couple of risers that I keep my cookbooks and recipes and then um, books that belong to my appliances and stuff. Um, there's the kitchen window. We have a very, very deep, uh, stainless steel sink here. Just for reference, kind of show you how deep that is. Nice and deep. Um, I've gotten a little creative with my kitchen storage, um, and have put up some shelves here. I like the open shelving, um, and uh, there's not a lot of cabinet space in here, so the open shelving just works really well. Um, let's see here. Here is the uh, propane range um, and oven. Uh, I have a cover over it. You can easily flip that up, do the two burners, or you can take it completely off. Um, there are four burners. Um, I have a little obsession with kitchen gadgets and appliances, so I have a little tower here full of my different Ninja products, little ice maker, um, of course my KitchenAid mixer, have to have that. Um, and then down here I do keep my trash and my recycling bin. But this cart does just pull out really easily for me. And then I can easily access the oven when I want to bake. Um, plenty of room in the oven there. I do have a little splash guard thing in there. Um, and then, of course, there is storage down too. To um, kind of keep my muffin pans and couple other pans in there. Okay, now we are going to lead into the living room area. 
Okay, now I'm into the living room area. I do have two dogs, as I said. So I have uh, their crates right here with a little bench for extra seating over top. I uh, did want to make note on the French doors here that they do have the blinds inside there. Um, so they can go down or they can go up, uh, whichever you prefer. Have some extra storage here that will stay in the tiny house. Um, and I have my TV monitor mounted to the wall here. Uh, do have a chair back there if I need that for any additional guests. And I lived in Tennessee for almost four years um, in the Cherokee National Forest. So there was a lot of power outages up in that area. So I needed another source of heat um, other than the mini split, which is located right up there. So I had this propane heater put in. Uh, absolutely love it. Heats so well and so evenly. Love using that. Um, then, of course, here we have the refrigerator. I do have the printer scanner up there and some other kitchen gadgets. Um, living room area here. I did install some shelving above the sofa here for my plants. I love my plants. Um, this is a full-size sofa that fits in here. Um, then I do have a footstool there. This is what I use for my pantry area, are these here. Of course, got to have the dog bag and all the dog toys. And then that leads into the bathroom here. Um, have a barn door here that goes in. Um, back here is access panel to the shower, and I keep a TV tray back here too um, that I use to dine off from and uh, use it to hold my computer when I'm working from home. In the bathroom here we have straight ahead the flush toilet. I'm going to turn the light on here. Um, it is all LED lighting. Uh, have a regular size vanity here. Um, regular medicine cabinet. Um, up here, I do have a little thing here that comes out um, that you can use to hang additional items off of if you'd like. We have the full size shower tub combo. Um, and then over here, we have the washer hookups um, so you could get an all-in-one washer-dryer combo is what I had in here. Um, unfortunately, it was not a good quality one, so it broke and I've not replaced it. But I do keep my dehumidifier here um, and then some extra storage because I have a bad habit of buying my cleaning supplies and laundry detergent and stuff bulk at Sam's, so need extra room for that or storage for that. Um, and there is a drawer down here that uh, pulls out too for extra storage. Uh, that platform is built in for the washer combo to go on. Okay, so here's a view back um, into the kitchen area where I'm standing in the bathroom doorway. Um, we're going to go up to the main bedroom now. Um, these steps have storage all throughout keep cleaning supplies and uh, extra clothes for the dogs. <laughs> um, I do have tools, toolboxes and stuff down there. Um, I did have spine surgery, so I have put in these step stools that lead up. That makes it a little easier for me to get up and down. Um, after my surgery, it helped tremendously and I've just kind of left them in because it is a lot more convenient because the steps are a little high, not your standard height, um, but it does allow for a lot of storage. Um, we have our switches here for the living room, um, outside light. Um, did want to point out there's LED lighting all throughout the house. 
ceiling fan and regular light here in the kitchen living room area. We will go ahead on up to the main loft right now. And if you will notice this, it's about two feet, maybe a little wider here. Um, I have a special surprise with that that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is the main loft. I am about five, three and a half. Um, and I can stand in here fine. I have currently a full-size bed in here um, and a standard dresser. I um, have a slight obsession with little tchotchkes. I used to do a lot of international travel and would bring back little things. Um, and then, obviously, I was not willing to give up my shoes or my clothing when I went tiny living. Uh, so going to swing right around here. I do have some shelves there on the wall that will remain in the tiny house too uh, when I sell it. And I have a regular full-size closet as you can see. Um, there's one of the dogs coming to visit. The surprise that I wanted to show you is down here in the bottom of the closet these panels left up right now. I have too many shoes. Uh, <laughs> more shoes um, piled on there but uh, those do lift up and that is hidden storage down there um, that's completely across and then as deep down to the floor in the main level so um, I can stand down in there um, it's quite a bit of extra storage for anyone who's needing that and then of course we have plenty of hanging storage and a shelf up there can fit your full length dresses and stuff. Um, let's see here. Across the way, you can see the loft that has a queen size bed in it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and get my collapsible ladder that I have stored under the sofa there and get that out to climb up into the loft to show you that area. I do have a wooden ladder that was built for going up into that loft area. I currently have it being stored at my mother's house um, because I did put in an extra pantry shelf. Normally it would hang up there on that and then when you're using it, it connects there. Um, but because I did put in the extra pantry, I can't hang it on the wall anymore. Um, and I actually don't use the loft up there very often. When I do need to use it, I just use my collapsible ladder to get up in there. Um, I basically use it for storage as well. But the wooden ladder that come, what was custom made for it uh, will be being sold with the tiny house that will come with it. So I'm going to get my ladder out and go ahead on up there to show you the loft. Okay, I did want to point out in the kitchen area here, um, the cabinets and drawer. Um, down here under the sink, we have uh, storage and then that also is uh, the instant uh, hot water tank here, propane hot water tank that is there. Um, and then, like I said, we have storage up under there. Um, let's see here. We do have one other cabinet here that I do have kitchen supplies in. And then we have a drawer. Um, the house is almost silverware. have the full set and it fits in there fine. Um, so I did want to show you that. And then I feel like I have plenty of counter space here um, and if I need additional I can use my cart over there um, but I did want to point out where the hot water tank was um, so once again that's the kitchen area okay here we go I'm gonna climb up the ladder here to the loft area then there's LED lighting up here um, can see I'm currently using it as storage. This is a queen size bed in here um, and then I have 
some shelving or over there with baskets uh, for additional storage to extra blankets and such. So I'm just gonna climb up on in here. Um, I am able to sit not my head there. Um, so here is a view down into the living area and then across over to the other loft. And once again, the puppies. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my tiny house. If you're interested in purchasing this tiny house, uh, please reach out to Chelsea and she'll be glad to give you all the information you need and answer your questions. Have a blessed day.